So this is a good ride comparison and sampler of the Gentim stick boards that we have in our possession right now. On from left to right, we've got the Gentim stick Manta Ray 56 for the US. Uh, we've got the Gentim stick Chaser HP, the Gentim stick Chaser behind Jimbo right here. Whoa, the Barracuda HP. Whoa, yeah. HP. HP. We wish we had the Barracuda. Yep. <laughs> And then we've got the Rocketfish HP and the Rocketfish. We'll start with the Rocketfish HP. It's the smallest, it's the narrowest. It's a narrower, smaller Rocketfish and it just needs so much weight on the front foot. All weight. All, almost all these boards definitely prefer Posi Posi, a narrower stance and um, it just, this requires so much front foot weight. It's such a different board from almost 90% of the market, 95% yeah. of the market out there. It's really it's, unique. Yeah, really unique. Under your feet. It's a slow speed, articulate, carving, fun little ride. And uh, the first time I rode this, I really didn't get it. I really didn't set it up right. I really didn't understand how to ride it. But the Pretty more- much all these boards. Yeah. yeah. They take, they come with, you know, they come with a different thought, a different style of riding. You really have to kind of like. Maybe talk to others who've done it. Yeah. Ask men, around, watch men, videos. Watch yeah. some videos, especially what the snow surfer. Snow yeah, surf, snow, surf, yeah. Snow, surf. snow surf. Yeah. Maybe Where, even practice your stance about your board. Just all the slow motion. You got all the slow motion for days about how they're all positive angles and they're just floaty through it, arms out and like all the balance and different, different way of riding. Yeah. From your typical duck it out in the park or even on your directional boards. It's just different. And, and they're snowboards. Most snowboards are like, just set it up how you like and go ride it and it will usually perform well. You have to adapt to this board to make it work. To these boards. To oh. these boards. All but maybe the Manta Ray. These the Manta Ray is maybe the every man's board of Gentim's line that kind of you can set up any stance width or angles you want and it's still gonna ride. Where these start to get cranky as you... So cranky. Yeah, and and this is one of those heightened versions of that. Then you have the Rocketfish. Same as the Rocketfish HP, just a little wider. Um, a little wider platform. And one thing to remember with all these boards, when sizing up, you're not looking at the waist width here. You're looking at the tail, the waist width, and the nose. And especially the tail, because these are massively tapered boards. And if you... By the time you like, get to here. Yeah. That's so the waist. Jimbo's fine here, yeah. but sometimes the off back the tail. Yeah. Toe dragon on the HPs. Yeah, the HPs, the HPs are, are narrow. For some of us. Yeah, they're, they're definitely 10 and under, preferably eight or nine mm -hmm. um, size boots, where these are more, this Rocketfish is more a good size for a 10 or even an 11. You guys could actually you know, get over, yeah, get, get over your toes nice and over. Turn it. Yeah, but even if you're a nine like me, I actually often preferred the, the wider normal. version, you know, um, the normal version instead of the narrower HP. And I think that's because of my weight, uh, you know, 185. That's a lot of weight on a little board like this. That's um, it. But these are, uh, <laughs> these are. <laughs> A gentleman never asks and yeah. he never tells. <laughs> These are the buckiest and bounciest of all the Gentim stick boards. They yeah. they just, even if you start to pick up speed in just slightly uneven terrain, they just mm -hmm. buck and bounce around. You want to go slow and slow. you really want to drive. This, these are the most front foot drivey. They just need that. Take your time. Yeah, that slow, careful, and they've got such a tight turn. So tight fast, tight turning boards. Yeah, the back foot. Now, then, you go to the Barracuda HP. We, Grant used to own a Barracuda. We rode that and uh, had a great time. The Barracuda HP is the narrower, you know, the narrower... Uh, brother. Narrower little brother. Yeah. And I had a blast on this. Um, this kind of matched well with my specs. I liked the size, I liked the way it rode. Um, this of all these boards is probably the closest in terms of how you can set it up like the Gentum Stick Manta Ray 56 I own. 
it doesn't necessarily need the most powerful directional you know narrow stance you can kind of let it get out a little bit more towards zero and uh, have a good time um, but it still likes more of that directional posy posy powerful front foot drivey but it definitely lends a little more um, work to your back foot if you want if you want that and it drives well um, it's of all these boards other than the the manta ray it's the most like gunny and powerful you can pick up a little more speed with these um, the turning isn't as just like like these rocket fishes that just like this and to a lesser extent but still very much more turny than the chaser and the chaser hp so this was probably my favorite of the boards today other than my manta ray what about you guys i i'm a big fan of the barracuda um, as i've said before but uh, today I had most fun on the Chaser. Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah. I mean, they're all fun in their own way, but... Depends on the day. Yeah. yeah. And what fits your specs. Right. Yeah. I, it, yeah, I had the most fun on the Chaser. I didn't actually get to ride the Barracuda, but the Chaser fit kind of my mental um, picture of what I wanted to ride today. So it kind of just fit in, but the yeah, Chaser's... So let's go to that mental picture. Okay. Let's, yeah, yeah, let's bring that out here. Um, Tell me about it in that. Mental yeah. Picture of yours. So, so the men, the mental picture. This, if you go look at all the the Japanese, the way they're riding these boards, the the kendo stick guys, um, and it's just all the slow motion for days. But if you just take that, even that beginning picture of a slow motion of just this slow carve on the mountain through all the powder, which we didn't have, but we had some groomers today. But just that slow turn, methodical, artistic, just flowy. That's just kind of what this board did for me today, at least. I know a lot of other people enjoy it too. But it has the wider footprints, not the HP. Um, it's a little bit, it, it's longer, it's wider. It's just, it's kind of like a little snowboard surfboard. Mm -hmm. And it, that's just what it exactly felt like today for me. And it was just really nice. It turned really well. It wasn't too fast, it wasn't too slow. It was just like perfect right around as soon as you figure out obviously your feet angles and all that kind of stuff because the balance game is weird yeah you, you <laughs> have stable to adapt well. it was yeah. very stable, stable you have for to adapt short to length. this board yeah you have to adapt but yeah very stable the turns were magnificent and it just kind of like flowed down the mountain i agree very nice yeah i felt the same like i felt the same with the the width in the platform i was kind of torn between the chaser hp and the chaser I liked that faster turn initiation of the Chaser HP, but that Chaser, I could all, like I said before in the other review, I was surprised at how it really suits my weight well. Um, and I really thought being so wide that my nines would have trouble turning it, but they didn't at all. It was a little slower than the Chaser HP, but it still did a very good job. And I was having a lot of fun, and you can just trench on this because there is so much, even off the tail, there's so much room for your boots to not have toe and heel drag. So these guys are all 11s, and they were having a blast on this. I'm a nine, I'm not like, you know, I'm not that big, but I was still really having fun because these boards are easy turning. You have a good radius to them. They, um, they you, you know, they're not as quick and tight as the rocket fishes but they're definitely only just a little less tight. You know what I mean? They, they really have a fun turning radius where you can really turn across the, you know, carve uphill, yeah. that kind of thing. Um, where the Barracuda HP and Barracuda feel a little more drivey, a little more, you know, your turns get a little less across the groomer and a little more like bigger S turns, bigger carves, but they can still carve. And then you got your Chaser HP, you can see, we rode these all with Union Atlases. Is that, is that a scrape? Oh, okay, good. Um, we rode these all with uh, Union Atlases and tactical Adidas Tactical ADVs for Grant, Jimbo, and me, and then um, response for Mr. Zobel here. But you can see it's a little narrow. It's the same chaser, just a little narrower, and it and it had that same feeling of the chaser only. For you guys, you weren't digging it because you were getting a little, little toe, toe drag. heel drag off the back foot. Yeah. yeah. Where I was, I was digging this almost as much, um, or the same as as much as the chaser, 
I really liked carving this. I really love the way it turned. I've had a lot of time on it early season. This is the following year. I love that all the Gintam sticks now have ABS sidewalls where they used to have bamboo. That's really cool. Um, it just, you know, ABS is toxic and such, but it does lend to more durability and a little more dampness. Um, they're not, they're still chattery boards, but they're not as chattery as they used to be. And then with the price tag of these things, you want uh, the most durability as possible. They're expensive. Yeah. Um, other than well, yeah, what you pay for it. My 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 cheap little manta ray cheap. over there is what seven ninety nine. Yeah. And so. uh, that's an that's expensive. U.S. only. Where um, you know all these other ones are well over a thousand, like probably in the twelve hundred range. And then you have the one board we didn't ride with Union Atlas today is you know we put union stratas on it kind of looks like the joker's board right now with that like <laughs> there's a lot of stuff yellow. going on but that's a great great new color oh i love it and we rode the manta Not too ray much here, more here yeah <laughs> thanks personal thanks, preference <laughs> but we rode the manta ray 56 last season and it was a different color um it didn't have abs sidewalls we got ABS sidewalls. This one is a demo model and it's a little softer flex um, than my Manta Ray last year, but it's not to say you're gonna get this soft of a flex. But this is the everyman's board. You don't have to set the Manta Ray up like this. You can go zero, you can even go, you know, negative three, negative six off the back foot and whatever you want off the front foot. I found that it really likes a little pot, like we set this up plus 12 and 36 mm -hmm. two, just to match these boards just today. Stay consistent. Yeah, but I've played around with all stance widths and angles <clears throat> on this board and it always shows up for me every time. Where if you try to play around with stance width, go too wide on these other boards that are in this discussion or try to change up your stance angles, they're gonna change on you. It and doesn't work. Yeah, they, they're gonna, they could punish you. Mm -hmm. uh, where this is every man's board. This is why I like yeah. it so much. It's and de it definitely felt more like a nor, like your average snowboard on the market today that you could get. It felt more like that instead of the snow surfiness. You can still do that kind of riding on this. Oh, yeah. Definitely. definitely. Yeah. yeah. If you're comparing this to more of like what we would call like, it's a bad word, traditional free ride, but you know what I mean? But it's like more standard free ride boards that a lot of people see that just have like 10 mil of taper, five mil of taper, maybe some directional camber, and you just set it up however the hell you want and go out and ride it. Um, this, you go from that to this, you're gonna be like, wow, this is such a different ride. There's so much more taper it's so much more slashy. It definitely feels more on the surfy side mm -hmm. of things. Um, but then if you go from this to these boards, then you're ah. blown away even yeah. more. Like, but this is definitely what I would call like alternative free ride, all of these. Um, you know, maybe snow, of course snow surf, because they are, Gentum Stick, you know, is snow surf basically. Mm -hmm. um, but the width on this was good for all of us. For you guys yeah. too? Yeah. You guys didn't have so. toe and heel it's drag? All right. yeah. Yeah, it was okay. I didn't, I didn't lean it over that hard, but it was all right. I, w I would be a little tentative recommending anybody over a size 10 with right. this. But, you know, you guys are riding, um, like, you, are you just 10 and a half or 11s? I'd be 11. Yeah, Grant's, but Grant's well, I don't, on the I 10 and a half. I downsized full size and a half. Mine yeah, so I'm 10 and a half 11. in the tactical okay. ADV. Mine are 11 US. So they're 11 cool. Adidas tactical ADVs. They're actually more 11 and a half in regular boots. If they, if you put their foot on a Brannock scale, they're an 11 and a half, but Adidas runs a little large, so you size down, and they're incredibly reduced in footprint. Mm -hmm. He's on a 10 and a half, Grant's on a 10 and a half. So that's kind of more like, fit. almost like a nine and a half to 10 for most boots. So that's why he's fitting. But if you're on a bigger boot, you really need to be careful with those because uh, I like I've even gotten on some um, some other boots with a much bigger footprint than my eight and a half Adidas tactical ADVs, and all of a sudden I'm getting toe drag on boards. I'd never get that, and so all of these boards were really fun. We we did just a slight mention. We did get out on the Karua Dart and Pencil uh, along with them. Some of us did, and those are definitely more drivey, more powerful, yeah. more bomby more uh, bigger boy board, big boy boards, where Big these hill. are more artful 
slow, articulate, turny, kind of super fun, slashy, playful rides. And there's so many more Gentim stick boards. We're just kind of still more, we're not, we're not scratching the surface anymore. We're a little bit in, but there's so many more layers in Gentim sticks line. So many different amazing boards. But these are some of the highlights, and this is what we got on while we were here. Yeah. So I hope you like it. Do that subscribe, like and subscribe. Blah, 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 and don't ask me questions here. <laughs>